So here we are on our way back to Gotland, stuck for the second time in two days. We heard a knocking sound in the engine compartment and decided to stop and check it out at the gas station that we were passing by. Something in the engine compartment punctured a hole in the radiator, so we had to take it out to assess the damage and to find out what had happened. Luckily, we could stop at the gas station that had a leakage protection, it would be such a pity if that happened somewhere in the nature. It was evening and the temperature was dropping. It was probably at least around 16 degrees below zero. When we took the radiator out, we immediately noticed two big holes. If you look here, you will see two big holes and a few smaller dents. And here's the reason why this happened. Apparently a blade broke off from the fan and jumped back and forth in there, puncturing multiple holes in the radiator. That explains the knocking sound we heard when we were driving. So Bjorn is drying the radiator in front of the diesel heater that we have right here. And here is our possible quick fix solution that may solve our problem temporarily so we can continue driving. It is decreasing here as well because it was in the cold trunk. At this point we were two days away from our hometown and we were planning to drive directly there without any stops because Bjorn's father was sick and the bus had been behaving a bit quirky in cold temperatures. But we got stuck again for the second time in two days, which was a bit frustrating. Okay, please work, please work. I have a feeling it won't. Mm, it's very cold. But I'll give it a try. Come on. No. It's too cold. The reason why we got stuck the day before was not really a major breakdown, but more of a temperature problem. It was too cold for our old diesel engine to start without preheat. It took us a couple of hours of improvised heating of the oil tray. And we were on our way. Ready? Yeah. Right. Yeah! Almost. It is cold. It is cold. It's but, it's, but it's better. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So, hello again, it's us, with the luck, the lucky ones, um, we don't have anything to repair our cooler with, except this, which is a really good sealer, so hopefully, since we have such an old vehicle, like our cooler liquid never exceeds probably 70 or 80 degrees maybe 80 around there this one is good for 90 so hopefully it will take us to the next city where we can hopefully replace this cooler we put the radiator in front of the heater to dry it a little bit and Balsa was supervising the process as always So in order to seal the holes properly, Bjorn is cleaning the damaged area first to make sure that the sealer gets in there properly and fills up the holes. The water passes through these lines, and this one was completely cut off by the blade of the fan. That is why it was leaking so much. We had to get rid of those loose pieces so that the sealer would get in the damaged areas properly. There was a tiny shop at the gas station, and we bought a bottle of radiator sealer there. But the holes were too big to fix with the chemical alone. Here I'm just smoothing out the sealer, making sure it really gets in there. Hopefully, this will work. 
We put the patched up radiator in front of the heater to dry overnight. How long time will it take to dry? Six millimeters per 24 hours. Oi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two days? <laughs> <laughs> Day two! <laughs> we had to wait the whole night because we had no whatsoever possibilities to get the holes fixed fast. We only had... Uh, like a rubber? Yeah, like a rubber seal that you use for construction works and stuff. Yeah. But it can handle quite high temperatures, so hopefully, we don't even know, hopefully it will have solved the problem. We just need to get to the next... We just need to see shop in yeah. 50 kilometers. Yeah. Yeah. Here she goes. <laughs> Most unluckiest bus in the world. No. No. If somebody has been more unlucky than us, please send us some videos because <laughs> I. I I'm not uh I wanna see that. <laughs> we were lucky though to get stuck on a at the gas station. And um we have a possibility to refill the water and buy glucol or whatever it's called. So that's lucky. You can't say it's unlucky, it could have been worse. And it's minus 13 today, so it's very warm to be outside. Very hot compared to yeah. Kiruna, where we Kiruna, had... Yeah, it was minus 22, so now it's a little bit lighter. This one broke up and jumped around in here like a pinball game and did a bunch of hole in our cooler, yeah. which we just refilled with... Um, Anti-freeze liquid for below 20 degrees because we were up in Kiruna where it was super cold. So now we just have to get everything back again. Yeah. Which is super nice for the hands in these temperatures. I love it. <laughs> okay, but would you choose to be now in Portugal on a sandy beach? Or here? Definitely here. See? I love it. <laughs> See? Then it's pretty lucky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I may ask, how the heck did I get this one out? I don't know, it went very fast yesterday. It was, it was colder. <laughs> it was colder. It was the anger. <laughs> We woke up in a good spirits because for the first time in a while it was light outside. We decided to hook up the radiator the next day, even though the sealer actually needed to dry for another 24 hours. We were hoping that since it was standing under our bed, which is the warmest place in the whole bus, and right in front of the heater for the whole night and morning, that the heat would speed up the curing process. We were also in a hurry to get back home. So we needed to start driving the same day. So here you can see me hooking up the lower hose of the radiator so we can start refilling water. So we got some warm water. So the moment of truth. Yeah, might I be know. leaking. <laughs> yeah, might still be leaking, but we'll see. Looks okay. Yeah, hopefully. And now since it's so cold, we might have to heat it also. But we're pouring hot water in, in the hopes that it will be a little bit hotter in the system and we might be able to start immediately. Since we had a bunch of trouble starting in 20 degrees below zero. Yay! One. One. Okay, I'll be back. 
<laughs> and then we bought a anti leak radiator seal just in case we missed any like super small cracks or whatever. How much of this thing do you need? It's like barbecue sauce. <laughs> Don't drink it. It was brown. Mm -hmm. I remembered it gray from that month. It's Last full of time. rust. So it rust shut all the, <laughs> right. all the holes. Did you read the, the instructions? Don't you have to have the engine running for a while when you use it? I'm a man. We always read instructions. Yeah, not. <laughs> <laughs> so we need about 33%. of truth let's document it it's minus 13 well it's minus 12.9 to be exact but who's counting no not us no. <laughs> Please work. Please work. <laughs> Almost, yes. Every time it's like, you know, celebration. Yep. <laughs> Every time it starts, we're happy. <laughs> minus no. 13. No, just kidding. So minus 22 was a bit too much. Yep. But minus 13 is okay. I have a feeling that it might not even have been like only because it was 22 zero it was probably because we got ice in the fuel system yeah. that was the problem otherwise yeah it would have we would have got up the fuel up to the engine yeah yeah, yeah. So now when the engine was on and the liquid had circulated through the system, we just needed to top it off with some more antifreeze and water. Just checking to make sure there is no leakage. This is where the biggest hose was, and it's not leaking. Everything seems to look good, so we decided to try to make it to the nearest town. It's alive. The monster, it's alive. Okay, so we're going to pack. It is chaos here, and we really have to get going if we want to buy a new cooler today and there is the couch potato the biggest couch potato of them all see the boy he is watching this one eye all right beautiful not this was the first sunlight we've seen in weeks, maybe months. The further south we drove, the lighter the days got and even a tiny bit longer. The, the warmth and 
and uh, the pressure. Because as soon as it gets hotter, the engine will start producing a little bit of pressure in the cooling system. So that's what I'm afraid of. That it will push that rubber thing out if it's enough pressure and if it's hot enough. But we'll see. So far it's been good, but we will only So we were planning to change the radiator in the nearest town, but the shop didn't have the radiator we needed and since everything was still working perfectly and the sealer was holding up so nicely, we decided to wing it and continue driving back to Gotland with our Frankenstein radiator. So we managed to fix the cooler and we managed to drive 340 kilometers so far without a problem and the temperature is around 80, which is really good. The engine. Yeah, the, the engine temperature is around 70 in the water coolant, so it seems to work out fine. Just goes to show, it's really good to have something in case of emergencies in the car. <laughs> in our case, I like to use Tech 7. It's a multi-purpose uh, paste that you can uh, use for everything. It's uh, glue, it's silicone, it's everything in one product. They're kind of expensive, but they're really good. We just more or less like cleaned off the damaged areas in the cooler where the water lines were. And then we just dried it out really thoroughly. And we just applied this everywhere. So it came into like every nook and cranny. So it really got stuck. And it's really good. I've used it before also, but it's really recommended if somebody's interested. Have one of these in your car because you never know. Practical. <laughs> for Van life yeah. in winters because yes. it uh, is usable in a um, different variety of temperatures like minus 40 to plus 90. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. even if it freezes when it's cold in your van, it still will be usable compared to other silicone. products. Silicone. If the tube of silicone would freeze, it's unusable. It will not uh, harden after that. But this one will. So you can freeze it and defreeze it yeah. at least a couple of times and it won't lose its properties, because which is really flexible and good. It's impossible to maintain the same temperature in the van all the time, especially when we live in minus 20 degrees. Yeah. And um, all of the products we had with us are probably spoiled now, except for this one. <laughs> <laughs> so that was lucky. It's a really good thing to have. And it also uh, can handle a little bit of moisture, so it doesn't have to be 100% dry to apply it, which is a really good feature. That or you could have, like, we fixed our cooler before with the plastic padding, also works. Just make sure you have the one with fibers. It's easier to get that one to stick, I think. So. But have one of these in the car, it's really Now we've tested really practical. it, it lasted for 340 <laughs> kilometers, and in the end of the day, hopefully, uh, we've driven another yep. 400. 550 we have left. 550, so, so we'll see. If it lasts until then, <laughs> then it's, yeah. Yeah, then we can vo vouch for this. Yeah. We'll see. I'm feeling <laughs> I'm standing like that because it's a bright light huh? compared to not, not, not used to all the light out here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so hot, it's only three degrees below zero. It's so hot and nice <laughs> yeah. here. Balthasar is there looking at us. He's Balthasar stole my place again. Look at him. Who stole Mommy's place? Yeah. He likes to sit in front. He likes riding shotgun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go now. Little did we know that our quick fix would last for another two years. So now, after at least 3000 kilometers and two years later, we can confirm that the Tech 7 sealer really works. It became a bit of a thing to see how long this radiator would last. There are at least three big holes in it and a couple of smaller ones. But the time to finally replace some parts, including the broken fan, has finally come because we are planning to go back to the north this winter again. So with this video, let the winter preparations begin. Until next time.